Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninus. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. This is the episode 5 of 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be hitting the nail on the head, straight to the point, straight to keywords. Now, in the previous episode, we are able to explain filtration, evaporation, distillation, magnetization, and precipitation. This class shall focus on sieving, separating funnel, crystallization, decantation, and chromatography. Sieving. Sieving is a separation technique or separating technique that is based on the principle of difference in particle size. When you have mixture containing uh, particles of different sizes, we use sieving to separate them. So it is used to separate solids of different sizes. Example, gari production in Nigeria. If you grew up in the village, you fried gari before, you notice that as you turn, when the gari comes out, or when you are done frying, they are of different sizes. You see the ones that are big, bop, 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 bop. then the ones uh, smaller, then the ones that are fine. So different sizes of the same solid. To separate them, you simply employ sieving. Separating funnel operates based on the principle of difference in density. Density is mass per unit volume. Volume, mass over volume, how thick a liquid is. If you look at water and you look at engine oil or even palm oil, you notice that palm oil is denser. Engine oil is also very dense. They are denser than water. So when you have two miscible, two immiscible liquids, because they have different density, they don't miss. We use separating on them. Example, oil and water. When you are separating oil and water, you use separating funnel. They don't miss. So separating funnel will remove the oil and like that or kerosene and water they don't miss at all separating from there will do justice to that then crystallization and fractional crystallization when you have difference in solubility at different temperature we use crystallization it is used to separate uh, mixtures that have difference in solubility at different temperatures which means one of them needs to be heated to be more soluble or at a particular temperature one of the mixture is more soluble than the other or one of the constituents or a constituent of the mixture is more soluble than the other constituent it is used to separate solute from solution if the solute decomposes on heating so this is like a type of difference between uh, evaporation and crystallization in evaporation, we separate solute from solution if the solute does not decompose on heating. But in this case, it is if the solute decomposes on heating. But in all this, look at what Jam expects you to know in crystallization. Anytime purity is very important, we use crystallization. It is a separation technique used when purity is of utmost importance. When you see drugs or sugar in the equation, there is a chance that crystallization or crystallization must come out as the answer because these guys they require high level of purity. So in alum crystals or drug and sugar production, 
we employ crystallization. It is used to separate solute from solution if the solute decomposes on heating, and the principle is based on difference in solubility at different temperature. Then decantation operates based on phase difference. It is used to separate insoluble solid from liquid. If you are an attentive listener, you notice that during filtration, I also said that it is used to separate insoluble solid from liquid. What is now the difference between filtration and decantation? In filtration, you simply separate or using filter, but in decantation, you leave them undisturbed. You allow the solid to settle, like rice and water. The rice, after a while, the rice settles to do that, and then you turn the water. Or when there are particles in the water, you don't shake, you leave it for a while, let them settle. Sometimes you even put alum so that the particles come together, they coagulate. When they settle, you turn. But for filtration, you don't let them settle. If you shake them, you turn so that the filter paper will take away the other particle. That is the difference. Chromatography works based on the principle of difference in speed. And anytime you hear of colored mixture or the mixture you are separating, they are colors. Just know that chromatography should come out as the answer if they are all colored. Colored mixture chromatography. It works based on difference in speed, or you can say difference in the rate of migration. Components in liquid mixture. It is used to separate components in liquid mixture means moving at different speed, making them separate out. Like this colored component, they move at different speed. So let's say one has a particular speed, another one has a particular speed. So as they are moving, based on their speed, one of them will go off when it exceeds the speed, the other one goes off when it reaches the speed, like that, like that. So it's based on difference in speed of particles, colors in a dye. Example, pigments from natural color, drugs from blood. So colored particles, colored mixture, they are separated using chromatography. And a pure substance should give one spot on a paper chromatography. And honorable, honorable mention is centrifugation. It's operated based on the principle of mass, size, and density. It is used to separate insoluble solids from liquids. Example, blood cells from plasma in the hospital. To separate blood cells from plasma in the hospital, you use centrifugation. So let's take a look at questions from the flash learners down application. The first question here says, sieving is a technique used to separate mixtures containing solid particles of dash. Sieving solid particles of different sizes. Option C is the correct option. The separation method that can be used to separate an insoluble solid from liquid is that. Insoluble solid from liquid is that. Insoluble solid from liquid, it is decantation. Example, rice and water. Which of the following separation techniques would show that ink is a mixture of chemical compounds? When you separate ink, you see that there are different colored components. And when you are separating colored components, we employ chromatography. So chromatography shows that black ink is a mixture of chemical compounds. Black ink colored pigment. Sieving is a separating technique used to separate mixtures containing solid particles of different sizes. We said that sugar is separated from its impurities by crystallization. When you hear sugar, drug, when there's high purity, we use crystallization. The separation technique that is extensively employed in sugar industries is crystallization. A mixture of petrol and water can be separated through separation techniques. Petrol and water, they are both liquid, but they don't mix. You can't mix petrol and water. Ladies and gentlemen, open your flash and jam application. Go to question search. Type mixture. Answer all the questions. Type separating techniques. Answer all the questions. And that is it for this episode. See you in the next episode.